Cinnamon Toast Crunch! Welcome to Saturday's Rough Cuts, ladies and gentlemen. It is good to be back. Um, I want to thank all the people that have been filling in for us, or filling in for me on Saturdays. I, uh, I've had a lot going on, and I'm glad to be back. I intend on doing quite a lot of reviews, uh, definitely for the next year or so, and I will be using fill-in sometimes. This week, I am going to be reviewing Piranha 3D. It is a uh, 2010 film, rated R, um, a remake. It, a lot of people have thought it was a sequel to the old one from the 70s, but the way I viewed it and the way I understand it, it's a remake um, of that one. I did not get to see it in 3D. Now, a lot of you have known from me that I don't like 3D movies, so usually that's fine, but I really, really regret that I did not see this movie in 3D because it is just a lot of 3D fun. Um, the movie stars Elizabeth Shue, Jerry O'Connell, Richard Dreyfuss, Christopher Lloyd, um, Ving Rhames. It's got a lot of people in it. Uh, the, the, the main character, the, the, the main kid that it kind of revolves around, um, is actually Steve McQueen's grandson, who's also Stephen McQueen. And uh, the plot, if you need one in a movie like this, come on, Piranha. It's spring break on a lake, obviously. And uh, there is a, there has been an earthquake, um, a massive type of well earthquake under the lake. So it didn't really affect land as much, but that that rift opened up another lake that was underneath it with creatures, uh, namely piranhas that have been there for years. So of course, then hilarity and horror and uh, much flesh eating ensues. So uh, if you get a chance to see the movie in 3D, I'd highly recommend it. However, I think the only way to really do that now is on Blu-ray. Um, don't they have those Blu-ray 3D players or something? Uh, the movie is on demand. Uh, that's how I watched it. I got it off demand. One cool thing about this is that um, Piranha 3D made right around 80-something million worldwide. And from what I found on the internets, it only cost like 20 million to make. That's ridiculous. That is an ungodly profit, uh, which definitely you see why they're, they're making a sequel, obviously, to it. They're going to make Piranha 3DD, so Double D. I'm sure there will be much nudity uh, that has to do with Double D because of that, because they can't pass that up. I had heard that uh, Sean C. Phillips, fellow Rough Cutter, uh, was trying to get a part in the sequel, Piranha 3DD, and I don't know if anything ever came of that. So, Sean... Let us know. Um, the 3D effects in this one uh, were great. They were so cheesy. They were a lot of fun. There was always stuff like coming. You could tell that they had built it to come out at you. And even me not watching it in 3D, I still enjoyed it. You know, they had the, uh, the gratuitous scene of the naked girls swimming in the lake where you could tell like they did it as a joke, like it was supposed to be funny. They had various body parts that are bitten off and uh, shown right towards the camera, which is just gross. Uh, one cool side note is Jerry O'Connell, um, uh, he is supposed to be playing um, the guy that owns, he's running a company, Jerry O'Connell is, on one of the boats, and it's called Wild Wild Girls or something. But he is definitely, portray he's supposed to be portraying the, uh, the guy Joe something that runs Girls Gone Wild, and apparently that guy threatened to sue because of the characterization of it. It's just, uh, it, it's a parody, obviously, but it's, they really kind of make him look like a douchebag. So, I don't know. I don't know if that guy's like that in real life, but Jerry O'Connell did a good uh, job of portraying a sleaze bag like that. Um, apparently there was like 75,000 gallons of blood used every day on this film which doesn't surprise me at all because there's blood in the water at all times. They've got kill scenes going on left and right. Uh, Elizabeth Shue plays a great sheriff. Uh, Christopher Lloyd and Richard Dreyfuss have really cool like kind of cameos, although Christopher Lloyd's in it quite a bit. He's also signed on for the sequel from what I've heard. So um, effects are good. It's a fun film. I was actually kind of hung over while I was watching it, and it helped take my mind off the hangover. Um, not the movie, but the actual condition that I had while I was sitting there on the couch after a night of drinking. I recommend Piranha 3D. 
You should watch it. Let me know what you think of it. And I also want to hear what people think of Shark Knight 3D, if I should go see that in 3D or if, I, if I'm better off waiting for DVD. Also, check us out on Facebook. Just click the link below and uh, like us on Facebook because you like us in real life and on the internet, so like us on Facebook. And until next time, bye.